Assalamu alaikum, Eid Mubarak. I hope you had a great Eid. How's your Eid? Very good, bro. Eid Mubarak. To I can see you've been shedding some weight as well. Yeah, getting it off, mashallah. Yeah, good, good. So have you? Yeah, keto yeah. Keto diet. Yeah, keto mashallah. diet. Keto, keto during Eid, yeah? Yeah, keto. That was quite easy, probably. Yeah. Keto and Eid is, uh, is difficult. Is it? Everyone's trying, well, to, rice everyone's trying to feed it? you with carbs and Spanish. you have to sort of uh, rebel, be disciplined. So after Eid, we should talk about an important topic, which is consistency. Because even on the day of Arafah, you know, people making dua and then before that we had Ramadan and people always think about, you know, how do I be consistent in my good deeds? How do I be consistent in my life? How do I become disciplined? This is something everybody's talking about because of zombie scolding, because of wasting time in superfluous activities or just lazing around we have this culture of laziness right so consistency firstly what comes to mind when you think of consistency repetition good that's another way of saying good. consistency good. but you're 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 parroting a particular thing over and over again uh, and there has to be something obviously hopefully something useful and something meaningful uh, and something that's going to benefit your life in some way right um and it's about doing that again, over and over again, at a dose which is effective for you. I right. guess that's how I'd see it. That's that okay. would be being consistent. Okay, good. What is the Islamic value for consistency? Where do we see this highlighted by the Prophet the, 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 the hadith you mentioned it earlier, where you know uh, the most the, beloved yeah. deeds to Allah are those which are the most consistent, even if they are small. Yeah. Why? Why does small matter? I want you to say this because you were the one that was sharing the theory with me earlier about how consistent things are small in the relationship between yeah. these two things. So if you imagine there's two people that are climbing two different ladders, one ladder has uh, steps, which each step is like a, a foot, yeah. right? Uh, like a meter or something. And the other one has smaller steps. Like five inches or something. Yeah, and yeah. the other one has a huge amount of steps. So what happens is that you're going to find it easier to do the ladder with the smaller, smaller steps. steps yeah. Because the thing is, Consistency, firstly, is life-changing. So you could, for example, go to the gym every day for 20 minutes, or you can go to gym on the weekend at the end of the month and just go to the gym for 48 hours. Which one's better for you? Regular. Regular. Consistent. The regular consistency is better for you, right? In the same way, habits. You are made up of your habits. You do every day the same things. These things add up. So your life is a series of habits. Mm. Your habit could be zombie scrolling. It could be just lazing around. So... These things are super important and as Muslims we should have lofty goals, we should have great ambitions, we should be you know, going <coughs> for great things. And the thing is, consistency is, is it's not possible to achieve something great except through going through consistency. So consistency is an ingredient which is necessary in order for success to happen. Mm. And one of the problems with success of anything, whether it's a degree or it's anything else in your life, um, you, like you want to memorize the Quran, any goal of success that you have, it's not an event, it's a process. Mm. People want a big event, like I'm going to crash this weekend, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, it's a process and processes are slow. Yep. You have to be persistent, you have to be tenacious and that's what's missing in our discourse yeah. today. Everyone wants to do big things, right? But every big thing requires small steps. Yeah, it's like when kids learn how to walk. You've got children. You know the the, the interesting thing you learn from children, bro. The reason they achieve those those milestones in their life is because they're consistent. Yeah, and they're persistent. They will fall a hundred times. They'll get but up. But the two hundred and tenth time, they'll finally start to take a few steps and yeah. they'll fall. But they, they don't let the fall stop them no. from repeating the action over and over again. You know, and it's yeah. a meaningful action because it eventually leads to them being able to walk like we walk, yeah. right? But as adults, what what seems to happen, for some reason, is we want to achieve big things. It's part of human nature. We want to achieve things. We want to discover things. We want to learn things, but we want it to be in big strides. Like you wake up one morning and you've just become the most pious person Martin, in the world. Or, yeah. yeah, from an, even from a religious context, you wake yeah. up next morning and you're just this saint. Yeah. When re the reality is these things take time, gradual steps, and those steps may be boring, right? People may see them as boring just because of the way well, we are unimportant, unimportant. Or... but each step adds up, you know, yeah. to that bigger picture. And you know what's interesting about this? You spoke about piety and, and trying to be a better person. You know, amongst the Salaf, there was a statement of one of them that the difference, actually it wasn't 
amongst the Salafis later on, uh, the, the difference between the pious mm. and the not so pious is the ability to overcome your desires. That's the real difference. Now, what is our desire? The first thing in the morning we have to do is fight our desire because we want to sleep, mm -hmm. right? Another thing you're going to do is chill. You know, these things are all desires. Zombie scrolling, it's, it's your nafs, it's your, it's your lower self trying to just drag you into these meaningless and sometimes sinful things. So um, you have to fight these things. In order to fight these things, you need consistency, you need habits, you need these things. I want you to highlight three things and I want everybody to try and remember them. The, the benefits of consistency. The first is that consistency is the foundation of long-term achievements. Any long-term achievement that you do, you have to have consistency. And you know this because recently you've been doing some essays and you've been working on your book. And you know this, that you know you have to have consistency in order to achieve a long-term uh, objective. Mm. Two, consistency helps you become disciplined and develop self-control. Discipline is not the same as rigidity. Rigidity, oh, I have this structure and that's it, I'm going to stick to this structure. Mm. No, uh, discipline is actually, you've got a goal and as as you know, dynamics change, as no plan survives contact with the enemy, as you're going throughout the day, things are dynamic, you still stick to the plan, you still work it out, you are disciplined from that perspective. See, on Just on that point, before you go to the third yeah. one, I think it's very powerful, but consistency also develops confidence, yes. right? Because confidence, we assume something, it's, it's something that or people are born with, it's not the fact, yeah. right? Every, confidence is something that's acquired or gained through being able to do something consistently again yeah. and doing it well and how does that happen that happens through repeating things over and over again it's like when you started first speaking public speaking yeah. bro you can you know i'm same was with me we struggled right it wasn't something natural to us we weren't yeah. confident we were Loughborough scared Loughborough university yeah of course i remember <laughs> if that video is on youtube somewhere love yeah, yeah, in a let's pink start. shirt whoever can let's find it and bro. post in the comment section below <laughs> i rate you mashallah yeah but the point is that yeah. we were bad and we weren't confident we were afraid we didn't like it I remember that one of the first talks I had to do was replace Hamza in a university and imagine that bro yeah, yeah. huge crowd expecting Hamza and then I turn up I had to, my first guy? talk was replacing Hamza <laughs> well. and, and you know. may Allah bless him you would put I mean, people in the deep, deep end be. but the thing is it was a repetition sometimes <laughs> due to Tarbiya sometimes due to just like last minute craziness just turn yeah, up at this place and but, but the good thing was that there was repetition is consistently yeah. doing the same thing over and again, over again which develops confidence yeah you know and that is very powerful bro when you want to change your habits yeah you know we think we want to change i'm sick of myself i'm doing x y and z sin start small going back to that point do something that's manageable you can do yeah. and repeat that and that'll build your self-confidence like, i can do this i can do this again yeah. i could do it again and before you know it, you'll be doing bigger things and you'll be building upon those those Absolutely. steps. SubhanAllah, you know, this is yeah. the way to go. And celebrate. Celebrate, for example, you do zombie scrolling every day about an hour. Celebrate the fact that you notice your zombie scrolling. Yeah. Then celebrate the fact that you do less of it, even by a minute. You could be 1% better every day and then over a year, you'd be exponentially yeah. better, right? Now, another thing about consistency. First thing is, it's the foundation to long-term success. Two, it helps you become disciplined. Three, it helps you differentiate between what is important and not because what you do in the beginning of the year or whenever you set a goal and you know you need to do that every day that means you do that every day and you know that that is important and the rest of the day you may be doing unimportant things getting dragged into meaningless things but if you are consistent then you know what is important you know okay this is how much uh, reading of the Quran I need to do this is how much I need to uh, do in terms of self-development this is what I need to do in terms of improving my fitness goals uh, and the most important, of course, is your consistency in the da'wah, right? Uh, you know, we were talking about this, you know, giving our first talks. We're talking about about a decade, uh, approximately, yeah. right? We're talking about about a decade. So I feel one of the things which um, has happened to some du'at over the years is that they fall off the bandwagon of da'wah. Uh, you know, they go through struggles, they go through issues, um, or just over time, motivation. Now, this is another thing. Don't wait for motivation. Mm. Don't wait for inspiration do things that you don't like whether you are motivated or you're not motivated the difference between strong people and weak people is strong people do what they don't like <laughs> and as, as as we know in islam that there could be something that you dislike but it's good for you yeah. so just to summarize yeah. these three things it's the foundation to long-term goals consistency is a foundation to any success you want to have long term Two, it helps you become disciplined. And three, it helps you differentiate between what is important and not important, meaning you're going to do important things. So try and remember this basic, um, the basic benefits of, of consistency. Of course, there's many, many more, 
but it's life changing. Yeah. For example, you could theoretically there's somebody who's out of shape, feeling down. You know, all these things happening. They're trying to lose weight. It's not happening, and they're going through health issues. You could just do something small. You could say, um, "Why don't you buy some of these nice shoes, which are you know padded in terms of walking? It'll motivate you." Once you get that motivation, okay, I'm going to start walking. Walking leads to a myriad of things. It leads to better heart health, better cardio health. It helps with your lower back pain. It helps you in terms of your metabolism and so on and so forth. Even dopamine and serotonin, oxytocin, oxytocin all those feel good factors. Yeah. So one factor, one rock that you kick starts off an avalanche. Like in the same way, consistency. If you get consistency in your life, it's going to create an avalanche of personal development and spiritual goals being fulfilled and you will live a much better life yeah. which is why i'm so passionate about consistency Mashallah. and you know uh, to just two notes i think things that have come to mind number one obviously be consistent with things that are good right? <laughs> and, and and you could be the best judge of this allah's given us that you know yeah. that, that base ability to understand so do things that are good consistently yeah. and number two whenever you slip don't slide yeah, this because it's inevitable. As humans, we'll slip. We've made a goal for ourselves. I'm gonna do this consistently. You don't do it for two days. Doesn't mean that it's a it's a it's, no. a it's a field day. Go and just okay. I've messed up. You know, like we're, we're losing weight. You know, I've had a slice of pizza. I don't. What the hell? I'm gonna have two two pizzas every single day for the rest of the week. Yeah. yeah. Just when you slip, that's fine. Get up and carry on 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 the on the right plan. Don't let yeah. an opportunity slide all the way down to zero again. Basically. Yeah. Think of it like a mountain. You know, you got the top. You got the bottom. Just because you slip a few steps doesn't mean you go <laughs> to the bottom. Slide all the way down. Yeah. yeah, don't do that. And the other thing uh, to keep in mind is a setback is not a reset. It doesn't matter if you slip in terms... I mean, look at, uh, you know, Hamza's mashallah are very good in terms of his discipline and this and that. But you know his bad days. Yeah. He'll just munch like, you know, apple crumble or this or that. And he'll just go crazy. Yeah. So he can have those cheat days, those bad days. But that doesn't impact his overall health, or yeah. overall physique, because you know you got that. Um, he gets you, back on. Straight you get back on yeah. straight away, like other people, like uh, hijab, very good with his Quran. Musad Nan, very good with his Quran. Yes. You can have one or two days off, or, or you haven't fulfilled what you wanted to do, but it doesn't mean you slide to the bottom. So yeah. that's key, guys. Consistency is key, which is why terrible habits like zombie scrolling should be at the top of your list to consistently destroy that. Because mm. these things, they sap your willpower, they sap your energy, they sap your passion, your desire, your ability to focus. Mm. And as Muslims, we have to remind each other, which is why I wanted to do this Absolutely. video. And just to wrap up, I think, you know, it's a very important topic, topic brothers and sisters. You know, zombie scrolling, I know it's not the topic, but it is. It's just, just social media consumption, yeah, overall. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. I did a video earlier. It's on my channel. He's going to link my channel in his description on this video, inshallah. I, think I did a video on uh, on reading and the benefits of reading and why we can't read. Yeah, Bro, the way reading just benefits your mind. It helps with memory. It helps with emotional disbalances. All of these things. The science on it is crazy, bro. Yeah, but we struggle with it. You know, we just don't get around to doing it. We just don't do things that are good. Good to do good things is not easy. No. To do good is always more difficult than to do bad. Yeah, so, but make a habit. Again, be consistent. Try to be consistent with doing things that are good. Even if they're small, you know, start small and build slowly. Don't expect to jump mountains overnight. You know, it just doesn't work like that for a human being. So just do th it. At the end of the day, it's what's meaningful, bro. Absolutely. Being consistent with doing good is what's meaningful. And life. do you know what? Don't think about, that. this is super important. Uh, I was listening to an audio book, uh, forgotten the name, something about discipline, but it's so important. Don't think I'm going to get happy once I reach the goal. Enjoy the happiness mm. of every day working towards that goal. So you're like 1% towards that goal. You know, enjoy like every day. Like uh, I think it's Arnold Schwarzenegger who said something about his, um, you know, his whole, uh, 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 you know, bodybuilding type of thing. He was talking about how every day you're basically working on that. Yeah. yeah. So it's the same thing. You, you know, if, if you, for example, you, you're working on memorization, you've memorized one line that day, not that much. That is a percentage towards the overall thing. If it's a degree, same thing. So enjoy those moments, that 1% even success that you've had. And the most important thing, I would say, I think it's um, uh, Jim Rohn or Zig Zagler, one of these guys, uh, they said, you are the average of your five friends. Something like this, right? That you basically you're the average of five friends. So the people around you, 
if they are out of shape, if they don't have lofty ambitions, if, if they are not religious, they that you are the product of those averages mm. amongst you. So your environment is important. So if you have people that are pushing you for consistency, if you have people that, you know, are, are, are you know, um, they, they are inspiring you, that's going to help. So you should try and do that. Now, in the world of social media, the blessing is, it, it, obviously, we're talking about physical friends here, people that you know, but at the same time, you can follow people that are positive with that type of vibe and you sort of, in a way, uh, have that sort of friendship with them. Um, but really and truly, it should try, you should try and do that in your own life with your friends and family. Choose those people who are successful and home in and try and benefit from them, from the perspective that if they're consistent, that's going to become contagious. It's going to teach you to be consistent. Yep. Any so, last uh, way of wrap? Uh, uh, you, no, just you know, Allah tells us in the Quran that you know, there's an ayah where Allah, and I'm paraphrasing, where Allah says, you know, that man only has what he strives for, what he works towards, right? And remember, life is moving forward. Time is going. You know, it, we're moving through time. So we have to work. And being consistent means to work consistently. You know, you can't just sit <coughs> there and say, I'm being consistent. You have to be doing something, action. So do good things consistently, you know, that would help develop you, build your character, allow you to be a good person, allow you to live a meaningful life. And before you know it, if you're consistent with good things, you, you know, after a year when you check back in, bro, you're going to be on a totally different level Absolutely. You know, compared to where you were a year back or Absolutely. two years ago. You know, and that's it. Just, Absolutely. just. Otherwise, we spend so much time, bro. Years go by, and we look back at our lives like done nothing. Yeah. You know. You know, and this makes a big difference. I mean, I'm glad you you mentioned the thing about time because it's like you're all on the starting line. The guy with the gun fires in the air. Everyone's running. Time is running. Your health is running. Your wealth is running. Your life is running out. You know, your youth is going. Everything is being eroded. And you're walking around thinking, should I run? Should I not run? No. Should I? No, run, strive, you know, fly. Just have your lofty goal towards Allah because all lofty goals have to involve Allah. And have that precision, that surgical precision that I want to achieve this. And you just go for it. You just don't stop. Because look, at the end of the day, what does shaitan do? Shaitan makes work for idle thumbs. Uh, shaitan makes you waste time. Remember, shaitan... You're going to go through, and I, I, I like this, um, I, I got this somewhere from the internet. You know, you're either going to go through the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. You're going to go through pain. Pain of discipline or pain of regret. So you might as well choose the pain of discipline. Because the pain of discipline, at least, is temporary discipline, but at least you don't have regrets. But the pain of regret, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. So cut off your, um, you know, don't treat the past as luggage you need to drag into the future. Mm. Cut it off at this moment. Ignore it, live in this present moment, and then move forward. So, until next time that we have this type of discussion, from me and Imran, Assalamu alaikum.